what's up, man? It's your boy Jay, aka the strategy, aka mama. There goes that man again, aka I'm so disrespectful, aka the man by many names. And good evening, bitches. I never thought in a million years that I can possibly feel sympathy for the government. And this episode made me feel sympathy for the fucking governor. Now, before we get into all that, let me just give you guys what this episode was. This episode is basically showing us what the governor did when he was on the run. The last episode previously before this, we sh they showed the governor standing outside the prison. This episode, remember how we said roughly maybe six months to maybe seven to eight months had passed? from the time The Walking Dead was off the air. This episode is basically showing the governor in that time period when Michonne was basically trying to track him and for a better lack of words, chop his fucking head off. This episode is showing that. And um, from the sneak, pre the sneak um, preview that they showed of the next episode, it seems like they're gonna go into the arc of the governor. Of the lost time so I'm gonna call these the lost episodes the lost time of the governor and um it shows what happens after he killed his group he basically um, killed a whole bunch of people in his group and he drove off with the Mexican and the black guy um, it shows that he was sitting by the fire and he was he was desolate and um, you know he was in his camp and they basically left him to die there's no basically, they did leave him to die. They fucking left the governor to die. So he went back to um, Woodbury and nobody was there. And he set the whole fucking um, town on fire. And he walked. They showed him walking. And they showed his beard grew long. And he, I mean, the governor looked like Iraq. He was bombed out and depleted. And he, he was, he was, he was almost dead. Um, he fell to the ground and he happened to see his little girl in the window and that's what made him get up and go to this apartment building and lo and behold he found an entire family living there now this family consisted of um, two females who were sisters their father and a younger uh, girl um, I think it was the oldest females daughter um, if I'm not mistaken but um, consisted of them and they basically were living in this apartment building when the governor stumbled upon them. Now the governor's fucked. The governor is not the governor that we know of old. He is like this. The looks of him, a defeated man. Um, so he goes in, and the girl, you know, basically puts a gun to his head and was like, you know, I'm at, uh, Atlanta police, and uh, you know, you try anything, I'll kill you. I will put you the fuck down. But when she said all this, I kind of looked and was like, you don't seem like a police officer to me. And um, when she was like, I'll put you the fuck down, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe that she's capable of killing anything. Um, so, hey. Um, so, and I think the governor knew this. He's looking at her like, are you serious? Come on. So, anywho, the governor, you know, they, they're actually nice to him. And he's actually nice to them. Um... He goes in the next, um, they set him up in the next apartment across the hall from him, and, uh, he's living in there. Um, the father asked him, uh, you know, hey, you know, he kind of knew he was going to die soon, but you, you can tell that this family has not been in the real world. Uh, gr gr groups like Rick and them group are a rare, rare, because in this world, it really is survival of the fittest. Only the strong will survive. So, and you can tell, like, this group has not been in the real world. They haven't been dealing with shit. Um, just like uh, in the last episode, those two kids who got knocked off, you can tell, like, they really hadn't been in the real world for very long. Like, they hadn't been out there hunting, you know, or being hunted. So, like I said, at this point, the governor's still, you know, uh, basically like Iraq bombed out and depleted and just looking fucked up and um the lady asks you know do you have any children do you have family 
and he just didn't give them a response so they believed that he didn't have a family we all know the governor had a kid we all know the governor had a wife we all know his wife died we all know michonne killed his walker daughter <laughs> and um he basically told them the story of woodbury and um but he didn't tell them that he was the leader when he said like the leader you know burly made out now he didn't tell him that that was him he made up some fake ass name i forget the name that he, he he called himself that he told his family and um you just see him at his lowest point and i was like damn man i actually felt sorry for this dude this dude was just you know just looking horrible i felt sorry for him i never thought i would feel sorry for the governor but i did and i started to like you know really think like uh you know, he was like, you know, he wasn't strong enough. The leader of Woodbury wasn't strong enough, and he lost all his people. And um, I felt sorry for him, even though I know he snapped and killed a lot of them. Grandfather, who was in this apartment, who's the father of the two older girls and the grandfather to the youngest girl. Like I said, I believe that that's the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the oldest girl's daughter. Um, she said, you know, uh, the grandfather asked the governor, hey, could you go up to the guy upstairs above me? He has, um, some type of board game. It might make her talk. Because at this point, the younger girl wasn't talking. She's a child. She's been traumatized by this shit. You know, she, she's fucked up. So he does that, and, um, he gets the game, and you see, like, a bond start to build with the people in here and i was like wow a fucking bond with the governor but in my mind they don't know that he's the governor and to this point he's done nothing but be nice to them he's went out of his way uh he uh at the end she let it be known that her father had cancer and the oxygen was one of the main things that was keeping him alive but he didn't have very much time even with the oxygen so, you know, it was an old folks home down the street. And she was like, if you can go get one of those cans. And he risked his life to go get one of the fucking cans. I couldn't believe it. Um, he went and got the can um, of oxygen for her father. And um, the oldest girl kind of explained, you know, what they did. Uh, the oldest girl in the beginning said she was a cop. We find out later on that that was half truth, half not. We found out her, her sister, the older sister, was a nurse. And uh, the father was a truck driver for some food company um apparently they said when you know the walkers started killing people or whatnot the father got the girls and got them and drove back to his house but he found out that his truck that he had you know was stockpiled with food and it was enough food to keep them nourished for you know some years to be honest with you they've been in a, this apartment for years let's not you know, they've been in here for years. Um, uh, it took 12 months for Lori to have the baby. Uh, we don't know how long Rick was in a coma for. But they've been in there for years. And they were basically running out of food. And uh, the young girl started to open up to the governor. Um, you see the resemblance here that, you know, the older sister was showing that she kind of liked the governor and the younger girl was showing that she kind of liked the governor too everybody kind of liked the governor even their father kind of liked the governor and um their father ended up dying of course and they didn't know that everybody who dies period turns so of course they didn't know that and he kind of didn't want to tell them that he just wanted them to like you know leave the room but they didn't want to it was like a few minutes and he turned and the governor had to kill him traumatizing the little girl um it is what it is so after all of this he gets ready to leave the older sister's like hey you gotta take us with you there's nothing here you know if, you, if there's a better life out there you have to take us with you and he was like i can't now prior to him telling him this um the governor carried a picture of him his wife and his daughter and he would look at this picture and just you know just stare at it um he actually in one of the scenes before this um and on his face he kind of like folded it down to where you couldn't see his face 
after all this happened, he actually set the picture on fire. I think that's a symbol of he is no longer who he was. Um, that he has taken on a new family, which is this family. He, he has no allegiance or no ties to his old family. Now, once again, this family has not been in the real world. They don't know the rules and regulation of surviving around walkers. Um, so he sees some walkers and he immediately tells them, hey, drop your things, run, follow me. They do and they start to run and um, they start running and the little girl won't run. The little girl finally realized, if I don't run, I'm going to die. So she ran and jumped into the governor's arms. Him and the new family take off into the woods. They're running, they're running, they're running. Um, and they fall into like this little pit. And uh, there's walkers all around them. And the first thing that happened when they fell into this pit, I'm like, wow, that looks like the pit that the governor used to have to capture walkers. Hmm. So... <laughs> Uh, they fall into the pit and they start coming after this walkers in there. So they try to eat, you know, the governor and the little girl. He takes them down, no problem. And she's like, he's like, you know, he gets up to the little girl. He's like, I will never let anything happen to you. Uh, once again, this just confirms what I think that this is his new family and that little girl is his new daughter. And he has sworn allegiance to this family. Like, if any, he's not going to let anything happen to this new family. Um, so the governor, uh, you know, the little girl, he hugs her and he, she's like, you promise. He's like, I promise. So right as he's saying this, guess who walks up? The little Mexican guy who used to be a part of his group. Episode goes off. Um, what do I think about this episode? I thought that it was a great episode because it made me feel emotions for a character that I thought I would never feel. I pitied the governor. I felt sorry for him in this episode, even though I've known every bad thing that he's done prior to this. You know, I saw a man who lost his wife. I saw a man who lost his daughter. I saw a man who was, you know, beaten, defeated, and I felt sorry for him. Um, I don't even know how much to say about that. I thought it was a great episode. Um, my predictions are that they're going to go into an arc of the governor. You're going to see everything that happened during the lost time that we didn't see with the governor all the way up to him coming back to the prison i'm anxious to see that you know i i'm, I'm anxious to see that i think they're going to kind of do it like they did last season where they cut back from forth into the prison from michonne into andrea i think they're going to do that they're going to cut back and forth from the prison to the governor and we're going to see him basically rebuild a new army to try to come after rick because he's coming after rick and michonne so Ah, man. So anyway, man, if anybody's asking why I got this bandaid on my head, I know you guys probably watched this whole video like, why the fuck you got that bandaid on his head? I got hit in the head today by a 2x4 at work. I'm alright, not fucked up, had a little blood, so I got a bandaid on. So anyway, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think, tell me what you think is going to happen in the new episodes. Tell me, did you guys feel pity for the governor? Because I did. I, I, I wasn't expecting it. And, um... Tell me what you guys think is going to happen. I'm anxious to see where they take this. So, anywho, this has been your boy, Jane. I'm signing off. Good to meet you, my bitches.